I recently purchased a 2020 13 inch Apple MacBook Pro with the M1 processor. And one of the things that I noticed is, what, is that the computer was so freaking slow, despite having gotten the 16 gigabyte RAM upgrade. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about what was likely going on and what I did that ended up fixing it for me. Now, I'm the kind of person that ends up using Chrome with a ton of tabs. Like it is possible for me to have 100, 200 tabs open at any given time because I just keep opening things and not closing things. And on some of my other laptops, I have even crashed the laptops because I've had so many tabs open and I have run the thing out of memory. So I'm definitely an excessive user and I accept that. So one of the things that I decided to do to try and see if I could you know, figure out what was going on is I limited myself to 10 tabs and I kept myself at about 10 tabs and was diligent on that. And yet I still have this problem where it was really slow to open Chrome. When I type, do anything on it, it was so slow. Even loading pages were really slow and it was very noticeable that something was going on here. So one of the first things that I did is I just tried to you know, make sure that it wasn't any of the extensions that I have. So I went through disabling extensions. I even removed all the extensions and yet it still was really slow. That did help a little bit, but it didn't help much. It was just almost unbearably slow. Even if I only had one or two tabs open, it was just awful. And so I found myself using Safari and even Firefox, you know, just so that I could get around that in some cases. But that's really hard for me because as a software engineer, I am definitely rely on Chrome and I love using the Chrome's developer tools and that's just what I'm used to. And so to totally give that up and go for Safari and everything just wasn't really very practical for me and not something that I wanted to do. So I kept looking for ways to try and figure out what was going on. Now, at this point I was getting really frustrated because a lot of other people had reported that the extensions was the problem for them. And by removing extensions or disabling them, they were able to find out which extension was causing them problems. And that wasn't the case for me. So as I continued to dig and dig, I found out that the new uh, MacBook Pros with the M1 chips use something called Rosetta 2, which is basically a tool that takes any of the applications that were created for the Intel chips, and it allows them to run on the MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. And that is supposed to be something that happens flawlessly. And that got me thinking that if Rosetta 2 was needed for Chrome to be able to run on this new MacBook Pro, then you know, maybe that has introduced some of the problems. So I went to Chrome's webpage and I actually found that you can download uh, a version for Intel, but they also have a download link for an M1 chip version of Chrome. Now, the reason I hadn't noticed this before was that when you first get your MacBook Pro, there is an option that allows you to take your other uh, MacBook Pro and there's the utility to transfer over all of the data and the applications from one laptop to the other to save you a whole bunch of time. It's super cool, really useful. It brought over the Intel version of Chrome. And so Chrome was using Rosetta 2 instead of the new MacBook Pro actually going and downloading the M1 version of Chrome. So I decided to uninstall Chrome and reinstall it using this other M1 uh, download option. That completely fixed it for me. Ever since then, I've been able to have a ton of tabs open and I haven't had any problems more than the normal ones I do when I start maxing out and having an insane amount of tabs open. But now my Chrome experience is a lot better. It's really fast and I'm not having any problems with it. So if you just got a new M1 MacBook Pro and you're having slow problems with Chrome, did you use that utility to transfer things over? If so, definitely try uninstalling Chrome and reinstalling it with the right version of Chrome and hopefully that solves it for you. If it does, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one, lates.